this is the maximized score of numbers in the ranges so initially he will be giving a start intervals and what the start intervals represents that is start of i2 start of i plus t integers right now you need to select uh, the integers from each ith interval in such a way that if you take the minimum absolute difference between any two integers it should be the maximum possible score like what is the maximum possible score that you can achieve by selecting the integers optimally right right so uh, now how we will be solving this question uh, you know the approach that I use to solve this question is uh, binary search. Uh, now, you can ask me like how you can directly say binary search, right? So, see, here the questions like this when uh, it is involving some multiple possibilities, right? So, here if you can check, uh, you know, from each interval you can pick some multiple integers and there are so many possibilities. Uh, the questions like this will generally involve, you know, either a binary search or dynamic programming, you know. You can use these concepts and you can solve these questions and how you can uh, directly approach them is with practice you know and even if you can see the constraints and which is 10 raised to power 5 and you can understand that it couldn't be solved with the dynamic programming approach so now let us understand how i how we can solve this question using binary search right so let us understand this through a test case so you know, initially you'll take the start array you know uh, sort the start array first of all to apply the binary search you know and what is the start uh, array is representing each interval is representing these integers right which is 0 to 2 3 to 5 and 6 to 8 right so let us say now what i'll do is i don't know what is the maximum possible absolute difference that i can achieve right so i'll apply binary search on the absolute differences uh, yeah i'll apply the binary search on the differences what is the maximum difference that i can get right I'll be applying the binary search on the differences like see I'll be taking some space which is from 0 to some maximum value and I'll pick uh, some integer which is a mid you know low to high will be taking and uh, what is the mid value so we'll be picking some mid value right and I'll try to I'll try to check whether I can I can obtain this absolute difference or not if if it is obtainable then I'll be searching in the right space and if the absolute difference can't be achieved through this mid value then I'll be searching in my left space so that is the main idea you know uh, to solve this problem so how will be solved see initially i'll be giving for a small space like i'll be i'll be dry running through a small search space like how it can be done right see here here i'm taking low high and mid and i'll be taking some result like whether this absolute difference can be achieved for this mid value or not so initially i'll be searching from 0 to 10 right 0 to 10 i'll be checking uh, for uh, like for this for this array uh, what is the maximum absolute difference that i can achieve in the search space of 0 to 10 right so now what will be our mid value that is 5 right so low plus high by 2 that will give you your mid value that is 5 right so now what i'll be doing see here here the integer ranges is starting from 0 right so the integer ranges is starting from 0 so i'll pick the minimum value so whatever the minimum value that i can start with is i'll pick that value so in the starting ith range i'll be picking from 0 now what i'm checking i'm, I'm checking whether i can achieve an absolute difference of 5 or not right so i'm i'm checking for this absolute difference of 5 whether i can achieve or not so if i picked the minimum value that i can start is 0 right so what is the next minimum value that i can pick uh, to achieve this absolute difference of 5 that is that is 0 plus 5 5 right so i'll be i'll be adding this minimum absolute difference that i can achieve right so that is 5 so i'll be i'll be looking for the 5 in my next range so here the 5 is there in the second range right so now so now what what is the next minimum possible integer that we can pick to achieve an absolute difference of 5 that is 10 right that is 10 so you will be searching for 10 or greater than or equal to 10 right so uh, why i am saying uh, greater than or equal to 10 see here our our solve function you know is to tell whether you can achieve a minimum absolute difference of 5 or not so that is why i am saying so here you can see uh, 10 is not there in this range so what i will be doing i'll be uh, so this I'll be marking this as false, right? So I cannot achieve an absolute difference of five in these ranges, right? So now what I'll be doing? I'll be searching in the left space, right? So what is our left space? That will be that will be zero to four, right? So our high will be mid minus one, right? Now what will be our mid? That is two, right? That is two. Now we'll check for two. Now we'll check for two. So what is the starting minimum integer that I can start with? That is zero, right? That is zero. Now what is the minimum possible integer that I need to take to achieve an absolute difference of two? That is next zero plus two, right? Zero plus two. So, I'll be searching for uh, a value that is greater than or equal to 2, right? Why I'm saying this? See, here, uh, here uh, I want to search, I, I can take any value which is greater than or equal to 2, right? 
because uh, you know it will give me an absolute difference greater than or equal to two and and i'm fine with that right so what my function is trying to tell is whether you can achieve an absolute a minimum absolute difference of two or not and it is fine if i if i achieve a maximum possible uh, difference right because ultimately we are checking for the maximum uh, possible score right so what i'll be doing see here i'll be i'll be searching for uh, two but the integer ranges are starting from three so i'll be taking i'll be taking the three i'll be taking the three and now and now what and i'll do i'll i'll search for the next minimum possible integer with an absolute difference of two right so that is i'll check for five i'll check for five but here the integer range is starting from six here the integer range is starting from six so i'll pick that integer i'll pick that integer six now you can see uh, if you pick any integer the absolute difference will be greater than two right uh, the absolute difference will be greater than two that means that means here we can achieve an absolute difference two or greater so this function is telling here you can you can always achieve an absolute difference two or greater now what we'll be doing we'll be searching in the right space right we'll be searching in the right space now see here now our low will be two uh, sorry our low will be mid plus one right that will be three and our high will remain same and now what is our mid that is three right that is three because three plus four by two is seven by two that is three now you'll search for three and you already saw like uh you know uh, same goes with three as well you you'll get this uh same integers right zero three and six and you already saw it previously we can achieve that so and that also will give you true that also will give you true now what you'll search you'll search from four to four right because low is equal to mid plus one and your high will remain same and now what is your mid value that is four right that is four now again see you'll start with zero and what is the next possible integer that you can get with an absolute difference of four that is zero plus four is four right and this four belongs to this second interval right so again you'll go and you'll try to uh, pick the next minimum possible integer that is eight right that is eight and it belongs to the third integer so this is true and after this uh after this again your low will be uh, mid plus one and your high will be same here uh, since they are uh, exceeding each other so we can we can terminate here right this is the basic binary search condition so this is what the main intuition see here here i have searched from zero to ten all numbers almost right so here i have uh, searched zero to ten whether this array supports uh, each number like uh, what is the minimum absolute uh, maximum absolute difference that it can support to this array i have searched ten numbers in just three iterations right and just four iterations i have I have searched in four iterations so you can use binary search to you know uh, like what is the maximum absolute difference that you can achieve here here uh, see start of i is 10 raised to power 9 and the difference is uh, 10 raised to power 9 right you can uh, you can uh, take uh, some large integer space and you can apply binary search on that like this and uh, you know you can reach to your answer so how i solve this question is see here i search from uh, 0 to 10 raised to power 10 so i have taken uh, you know since uh, the start of i and d is 10 raised to power 9, it will be maximum roughly in around 10 raised to power 9. So I have uh, searched from 0 to 10 raised to power 10. And what I have done here, see here, uh, I have taken one mid and I have, uh, you know, called the solve function. Now what this solve function do is here, see here. Here what we have done, here what we have done is, see here, uh, first of all, we started with the starting integer, which is the minimum possible integer, right? That is array of 0, right? And if I, I, I'll go uh, into each and every position and I'll check whether this 0 is in this range or not, 0 plus 2, whether this 0 is in this range or not, then if it is, if it is, uh, you know, if it is exceeding that range, then I'll be returning the false. See here, here, when I'm picking this 4, if this 4 is exceeding this range, then if it is going uh, some value greater than 5, then I can say I cannot pick any integer in this range, right? I cannot pick any integer range to obtain that absolute difference, right? So in such cases, in such cases, I'm returning false or otherwise what I'm doing or otherwise what I'm doing, I'll be, I'll be just adding this mid value, whatever, uh, whatever the mid I'm checking, that is the absolute difference that I want to check whether I can achieve on that array or not, right? So, so we'll be just adding that mid. So that is, uh, that is what I'm doing here. And if it satisfies for every condition, then I'll just simply return true. And you can ask me like why you're doing uh, current equal to maximum of current comma i. Right. So here you saw for this two case, right? For this uh, number two, like what is happening here? After after you're searching for two, but this integer range is starting from three. In such cases, you definitely need to take from three, right? So for that case, I'm I'm, I'm using this statement, which is current is equal to maximum of current comma i. So it will it will tell you whether you know you can obtain this absolute difference or not. So what my solve function tells me, it it tells whether you can achieve this absolute difference or greater, right? So 
if you cannot achieve it will be giving you false then you'll be searching in the left space or you'll be uh, searching in the right space based on your solve function result right so i'll just quickly submit this you can see it is accepted so if there are still any doubts just ping me below i'll be happy to reply you